Hey everybody, I cannot believe I feel the need to shoot this video, but I feel the need to shoot this video. Uh, every now and again, I'll get a question that seems like it's someone's trolling me or maybe, you know, pulling my leg or something, but I'm never quite sure and I never want to just take for granted and make fun of somebody if they're really genuinely asking me a question that, you know, they're wondering about. And so recently I got one of these questions. I thought like they, they've got to be trolling me with this question, but at the same time, you never know. So I answered it, you know, legitimately. And the question they asked me was, can algae be killed in your aquarium using 12 volt electricity? They had heard that you could do this. You put the positive in one end of the tank and the negative in the other end of the tank and send an electrical current through the tank and it will kill all your algae. And I sort of jokingly responded by saying, yes, along with all your fish too. Um, and they got back to me saying like, unfortunately they got my response too late and all their fish died. So again, I don't know if they were genuinely trolling me or they really did kill their fish by trying to electrocute the algae in their tank. So I looked on, you know, I just did a little search of can electricity kill algae. And what I found kind of, I don't know why it surprised me, but it surprised me. There were several forum threads out there where people were asking this question legitimately, can I do this in my aquarium? Uh, there were several questions out there where people were asking if they could do it in their ponds or their pools to use electricity to kill algae. So let me just say unequivocally, no, do not put electrical current through your tank. Do not put bare electrodes in your aquariums, your ponds, your swimming pools or anything. First of all, it's not going to do anything to the algae. Algae doesn't have a nervous system and the electricity going through our nervous system or your fish's nervous system is what causes the problems and causes the death. It's not going to bother algae. It's not going to do anything to algae. Probably not going to go through your tank the way, again, just no, don't, don't even consider doing this. It's just a really, really, really bad idea. Uh, there were some people out there that suggested there was somehow a difference between using alternating current versus direct current. Don't use any kind of current. Don't any electricity in your aquarium at all, period, none. If you see a frayed wire on a piece of electrical equipment in your tank, unplug it immediately. If it's a heater, leave it in your tank after you've unplugged it and allow it to cool down before pulling it out. You don't want the glass to overheat and crack or burn you or whatever, but you don't want any kind of exposure to electricity in your aquarium at all. It will kill your fish so fast. You will not believe how quickly it'll kill your fish. Really, really low voltages will stun fish. And, uh, you know, wildlife management agencies or people that are studying fish uh, will actually use these type things where they have electrodes in the water out in front of their boat and they send a very, very weak current through the water and it basically stuns any fish. They float to the surface as they go by and they're able to study them and the fish, of course, recover uh, and, and go back to swimming around. But it's very, very low voltages. Any kind of 12 volt current going through your aquarium will kill your fish almost immediately and again and will do absolutely nothing to your uh, algae. And, and it's not safe. It's, it's a danger to you and everybody around you. Again, just, it's just such a bad idea. Do not even contemplate it if that was something that was rolling around in your brain. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, again, I really don't think I should have had to say that, but better safe than sorry. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you real soon in the next one.